guys, welcome to another episode of Beauty Beacons. Today I'm going to recreate the look of Grace Kelly. She is not only, in my opinion, one of the most beautiful women in history, but also one with a very fascinating story. I mean, who has a life like that? Grace Kelly was born into quite a wealthy family in America in the 20s of the 20th century and at a very young age she decided that she wanted to be an actress and although this was discouraged by her parents, especially her father, who did not find it a very honorable job for a lady to do, she made it into acting school and by the 50s she was one of the most popular American actresses. So in 1955 something happened that completely changed her life. She met the Prince of Monaco, a tiny European country. Sparks flew, they fell in love, and they got married in 1956, making Grace Kelly now Princess Grace of Monaco. So of course her becoming a member of royalty meant that she had to stop acting because it was just not appropriate for a noble lady to pursue an acting career. Although she really wanted to continue acting and tried to do so a couple of times, it wasn't allowed, so she focused instead on philanthropical work and of course her duties as the princess consort of the Prince of Monaco. So Grace's elegant, simple and classy style made her a style icon pretty quickly and she is still, until this day, one of the biggest style icons in history. There are exhibitions held um, just showcasing her wardrobe and her style and what she wore. Her wedding dress is one of the most iconic wedding dresses in history, absolutely gorgeous. And you could say her style is timeless and still a huge inspiration to women nowadays. So as for hair, her hair was pretty on trend for the 50s, um, short, curled, kind of combed backwards, but her makeup was a little bit different than your typical 50s makeup. She did wear red lips, as was popular, but her look was much more natural and she wore kind of a no makeup makeup look, you could almost say. It was very simple, very toned down and yeah, like I mentioned, very natural looking. So let's try and imitate that. For the makeup, I'm going to start by applying my foundation to create an even base and I'm trying to go for one with a little bit of a dewy finish. And then I'm going to apply concealer on my dark circles and any imperfections that I may have. So when that is all blended in, I'm going to powder it off with a thin layer of translucent powder to set everything. And then I'm going to contour just a little bit. Grace Kelly has a very beautiful, um, kind of high, sharp and thin nose. So I'm going to contour my nose just a little bit to look a little bit more like hers. So I'm taking a contouring powder and I'm going to apply this on the sides of my nose to make it look a little bit slimmer and then blend it out towards the sides. I'm also going to contour along the bottom of my nose to make it look a little bit more high and pointy. And I'm going to contour my cheekbones just very slightly. And then especially contour along my jawline. She has a beautiful jawline and a little bit of a, well, what do I call it, an indentation in her chin. So I'm going to try and simulate that with, again, my contouring powder and just keep blending, blending, blending. That's the most important thing in order for this to look natural. So when the contouring is done, the natural next step is highlight. So I'm going to take a highlight powder and I'm going to apply this on top of my cheekbones for a beautiful glow and along the bridge of my nose, again to accentuate that slimness and just a tiny bit on my chin. Grace Kelly has a wonderful glowing skin in most of her pictures, so highlighter really helps kind of simulate that look. Okay, moving on to the eyes. I started by applying a skin colored base all over my eyelids and I'm going for a color that is just slightly, maybe one or two tones lighter than my own skin color. And I'm just applying this all over the eyelid. Then I'm going to take a brown eyeshadow. This is quite a dark brown. And I'm going to take this on an angled liner brush and line my eyes with this, just the top. And I'm going to apply quite a heavy layer of this brown eyeshadow because afterwards I'm going to take a clean fluffy eyeshadow brush and blend this out towards the top so that it kind of smudges out and creates a little bit of a smoky kind of brown smoky line. <laughs> And I'm just going to go over that a couple of times to intensify this. So then it's time to curl my eyelashes and apply mascara. And I'm just applying this on the top lashes. And then it's time for eyebrows. I tried to make my eyebrows look a little bit more like hers by making them slightly more rounded at the top. But she had very natural eyebrows. 
which pretty much look like they aren't touched at all so I wouldn't go too crazy with you know filling in the eyebrows so for blush I'm just going for a very soft light pink and I'm just going to apply this on my cheeks very slightly nothing too heavy okay so in the picture that I based this look off of she is wearing Grace is wearing this beautiful kind of pinky red lip color so again to simulate this I'm going to start by lining my lips and filling them in with a bright red lip liner and I'm just following my natural lip line here and then I'm going to go over with this bright pink liquid lipstick and mixing these two together on the lips makes the perfect shade and this liquid lipstick is just a little bit shiny which is absolutely perfect as well all right so moving on to the hair I am going to start by applying some volumizing styling mousse in my hair for volume and pull. Then I just blow dry this real quickly and then I separate it out of my hair and I curl it. So I'm going to start on the bottom layer, work my way up and I'm using quite a large barrel for this because I'm not going for small type curls but more like kind of these big Hollywood waves. So whenever I finish a curl I pin it to my head to let it cool down and I'm just going to curl all over my head but then when I reach the top of my head and of this middle strip of hair, I am going to curl these backwards and pin them in this kind of roll so that my hair is direction towards the back. So when all my hair is pinned in curls, I'm just going to wait a couple of minutes for this to cool down. And when it has cooled down, it is time to take down all of these pins and release the curls. After which I'm going to brush them out to create these kind of, again, big voluminous Hollywood waves. So Grace's hair is always kind of swept towards the back and it's usually down that way. I tried about a hundred different ways to do this on my own hair but I think my hair is just too thick and heavy. Her hair is very fine and thin so I think hers just stays that way better um, but I'm still trying to kind of simulate that look with a load of hairspray. <laughs> All the hairspray guys. And um, you can even use a couple of bobby pins here and there to kind of help the hair stay back. But as long as you leave the top layer um, free because you want to create this kind of look that the hair is just, you know, naturally going backwards. So as Grace's hair is a lot, lot, lot shorter than mine, I'm going to twist it into a tiny little bun in the back and then twist this bun underneath my hair and pin it down to the nape of my neck to create kind of like a faux bob. So then I decided that my hair wasn't going to stay <laughs> swept back so I went for a little bit of a side parting which you sometimes see on her as well. As long as the general direction is backwards you're fine. So yeah I again just sprayed this with a load of hairspray and then I decided that my hair was still a little bit too long so I turned it under one more time and just pinned it up a little bit higher. So as far as clothing and accessories goes, Grace was very on trend when it came to 50s fashion but um, I'd say go for something simple and elegant, nothing too embellished and for jewelry go for the classics, diamonds and pearls and Grace Kelly often accessorized with scarves and gloves so you can go for that as well if you're trying to get her look. And there is your Grace Kelly look completed. So I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I want to thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe for more Beauty Beacons videos. Speaking of which, don't forget to leave your comments down below. Um, your requests for historical beauty icons that you would like me to recreate the looks of in this Beauty Beacons series. So I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!